I'm very grateful that uh, with me there's a uh, senior award-winning journalist from Brazil, Roberto Cabrini. He has seen three regimes, the Taliban regime of 1996 and uh, after invasion of America, he has also visited and uh, recently he has spent pretty good time there in Afghanistan covering exclusive stories uh, about uh, the Taliban, new Taliban regime after the takeover. Mr. Roberto, comparing your uh, previous visit, first regime and the current regime, uh, what do you see, what change you have seen in Afghanistan since you have extensively covered it? You know, uh, one of the most important things when, when you are trying to analyze a country is that you have to, uh, to consider that you can never analyze a country with your own values. You know, this is a very common mistake. You try to make the people act the way you expect them to act on, in your own society. So you have to have your, your open mind. Uh, given this, uh, I would say that, you know, in some aspects, uh, Afghanistan is still the same, but in some others has changed completely. Uh, when I cover first time Afghanistan in 1996, uh, you had a lot of uh, happiness and people were very enthusiastic because it was the first time that Taliban took power. But on, on the other hand, uh, they didn't have maturity, you know. They have changed a lot. Uh, at the beginning, in 96, they used to invite you to go with them uh, to the places because they wanted to show a new Afghanistan. But on the other hand, with their own people, they were very, very tough. Um, in 2009, I was able to cover Afghanistan through the American eyes, through the, uh, uh, through the eyes of invader, because America has been an invader. Of course, in many aspects, if you compare, for instance, uh, the Afghanistan with uh, between uh, 2000, uh, 1996 and 2009, when it was the second time, uh, the change was very, very uh, big because uh, when in '96 you would find the whole city of Kabul, for instance, uh, was a big city of mood. You know, was a, a no asphalt. Uh, the, the the life was very very precarious. Uh, a lot of poverty, and um, in some extent, the, the change has been very very big. But on the other hand, you have to consider that even though the United States has brought, uh, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of changes uh, for the elite of Afghan society, for the upper class of Afghan society. If you talk about the, the general population, uh, you, do, you didn't see a lot of change. And this is the reason why now in 2021, uh, Taliban came back. Taliban came, uh, Taliban came back because America has never been able uh, to give it to the general population uh, a reasonable existence. Uh, you have to consider that the number of very poor people uh, have never changed drastically. Uh, you have a 35 million population and 25 million uh, of them are, are living under the line of poverty. So uh, if uh, the American uh, intervention had been able to change uh, the life of a general population in a more extent, probably you wouldn't see Taliban coming back to the power. Taliban came back to the power because uh, Taliban appeals, uh, especially in the rural, rural areas where the people have no perspective, have no future, uh, they don't know how to read and write, and the one you give them a card, Kalashnikov, uh, and you tell them you know, the words of uh, religion, uh, make sense to them because they have no future, they have no option. Uh, so, uh, you have to analyze Afghanistan in many aspects. Uh, but on the other hand, there is a very important aspect uh, for the human rights. Human rights have, uh, the general population, they have gained many rights. But some of them, those rights that they have gained, they don't know how to use it, you know? But if you talk about the human, especially women who go to the university, especially uh, people who are educated, those people have lost a lot with Taliban came back. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not the, uh, you are not talking about the war between the evil and the, and the goodness, you know? It's not the, like this. You have to have a more balanced vision. And this is what we're trying to accomplish, uh, to give a more realistic vision. 
you 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 are not talking about the good guys against the, the good guys. You are talking about many economic interests, many strategic interests. You know, and where there is not a single party or a single organization who is entirely good or entirely bad. Um, it's so a shame you... that for the general population, uh, they are suffering a lot. They they feel hungry. Uh, there are lots and lots of people that you find in the streets who don't have nothing to eat, or they eat sometimes uh, a loaf of bread, uh, a cup of tea. Uh, that's all. And uh, this is very sad. Now tell me that you have met too many uh, people, particularly the uh, women who were uh, on strike for their education, for their liberty, for their right to education particularly, and for the human rights. Uh, what, were the, what was their perspective? What were their demands from Taliban? You know, it's incredible how many brave people you find in Afghanistan. People who are really brave, people who don't accept to lose their rights. Uh, but those people are in a very terrible situation right now because they are in a country where they are persecuted, uh, they cannot leave the country, they lost their support from outside. And they, you, basically, they want to go, they, they want to have, they want to keep the rights. For the, for, for the girls to study after they're 13 years old. Right now, after the sixth uh, grade, they cannot study. Uh, the university is very uncertain, uh, and especially the participation of, of uh, the women in the politics uh, is prohibited right now. Uh, Taliban said that they might consider the women would take part, but you know, one of their first acts was to exterminate uh, the Ministry of uh, Women for, and they changed for a minister of religion. Uh, this, this shows very clearly uh, the change that we have you know, watched in Afghanistan right now. So the human rights in Afghanistan are in very uh, bad shape. Uh, the international community is abandoning, uh, uh, you know, is, is, is letting many people uh, on their own, which is very sad. Uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan has also uh, reiterated many times that uh, uh, these Taliban should be given a chance to establish their government and uh, uh, Pakistan, including too many countries uh, across the world, uh, no one has recognized this regime. Uh, what do you think that, uh, uh, is there any chance of a coalition government uh, they are considering to form it with the stakeholders of Afghanistan? You see, it's very clearly the Taliban is trying to, to, uh, to, to be more moderate. Or at least they are trying uh, to demonstrate this uh, for the international community to think they are more moderate. But for their own people, uh, you don't see those, those signals, you know, that they are, try, they are really moderate. But you have to give them a chance to demonstrate that they can be more moderate, they can respect human rights. And, uh, and, they, and, and then they deserve a chance uh, to have a better relationship with the international community. I think it's up to them. It's up to what Taliban is going to do in the future. I can see there is a, there is a kind of conflict inside Taliban. There are more moderate people who are uh, you know, in conflict with more radical people inside Taliban. Uh, there are many discussions. Uh, there are many fights for power. And uh, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen because in the meantime, there is a big war uh, against, against the ISIS-K. And um, in order to beat ISIS-K, Taliban needs some kind of support from the international uh, community. Uh, but you have to bear in mind that Taliban is only in power because America uh, had made some agreements with them, especially last year. They, you, they don't tell about this in public. But of course, Taliban is in power because there was an agreement with the United States of America. Taliban does, doesn't like to, to, to talk about this. America doesn't like to talk about this, but this is the fact. Uh, the United States of America found that the Taliban uh, is more, is, is a, a, a necessary evil. There has been a breakthrough recently in Doha. Uh, they met with the leaders of the Taliban, the, particularly the US administration. The problem lies in Afghanistan is because their funds have been frozen. Europe has frozen the funds and the US has frozen the funds. That as a result, there is problem of, you know, economy. Uh, they do not have uh, bread and butter to eat. That is the first priority. Particularly America has assured them that we'll release the funds 
but we will support the people in Afghanistan, not the Taliban. You see, one thing is what the people say in public, and another thing is what they do, you know, behind the scenes. You know, I think behind the scenes they are talking a lot. There is a lot of negotiation going on, but uh, there is a lot of things they cannot say in public because, especially because of the the, the policy against women. The policy against women is unbearable for modern societies. You know, how can a modern society, how can a, a democratic society, uh, you know, have business with a government who is against women? You know, human rights. You know, uh, so. Uh, but you know, behind the scenes, they are negotiating a lot. There is no doubt about it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very grateful that uh, the distinguished journalist from Brazil uh, has given me the chance to speak and he has explained if the world community gives uh, a chance for them to uh, form government and uh, this regime is uh, relatively moderate than the previous regime. In fact, uh, the world community needs to uh, help uh, Taliban to at least form a government and uh, also ensure, uh, Taliban should ensure the human rights, the women rights and uh, the liberties of the people of Afghanistan. A successful and a prosperous Afghanistan is uh, in favor of Pakistan and its neighboring countries and to the world as well.